hello everyone in this video we'll go through the merged archive files and what all things you need to review before uploading to c4c so there are two files in the merged archive the first file is code mapping.csv this file contains the code mappings which has to be created or updated in cloud for customer this file has following fields code list mapping group this is the group which you have used during your c4c download and the erp merge the s name which is the name of this code the context information so this contains the context information for the code if it exists for example the region code will have country code as the context then the fields which are available are c4c code the c4c description the external code the external description the inbound and outbound defaults then local and remote codes are equal this stores the information is for the mapping rule to be created in cloud for customer in the code list mapping if selected the mapping rule selected is local and remote codes are equal the action code so currently we have two action code no action and override no action means the code already exists in c4c and nothing needs nothing will be done there the override will either create the code or update the existing code comments the comment section contains any additional information which is to be given to a user the user can react to this and update his files accordingly the second file is the code list.csv this file contains the codes which have to be created or updated in cloud for customer this file has following fields es name which is the name of the code in c4c the context information if the code has the c4c code the c4c description the language code the additional description the additional data so this field is used to transfer any additional information which might be needed for the code to be created in c4c the action code which is same as the first file and the comments where we provide any additional information to the user so when you review the files you need to check on the following things the merge report proposes some codes as inbound or outbound default when more than one code is mapped to the same code in such a case you should review the defaults before uploading in the c4c system in case you want a particular code to be used as a default in some instances uh, the merge report proposes a new code list to be created in the cloud system because the description in the compare language didn't match However, if you want to map the same code to a particular code existing in the cloud system, you can change it manually in your CSV file. For the codes such as cash discount terms and the business partner relationship category code, not all values are transferred to the cloud system. Hence, if you are using either of these codes, review and adjust the values and mappings directly in the fine tuning activity after the upload. So it is recommended you edit the CSV file in the editor which does not apply default formatting. For example, if you open the CSV file which has any values which is in date format, the Excel introduces its own formatting and it converts the date value to, to a date and month. 